Welcome back to the Los Alamitos previous show. We had some major racing action here at Los Alamitos last week. The finals of the El Primero Delano Derby for the three-year-old Colts and Geldings. The finals of the La Primero Delano Derby for the three-year-old Phillies. We have some talented two-year-olds going post from here on Saturday night this weekend as well. And to get a preview of the two-year-olds for this weekend and a recap of the three-year-olds from last week, let's now go to Orlando Gutierrez. In this week's racing report, we look ahead at Saturday's strong card at Los Alamitos Racecourse, while also looking back at last weekend's La Primera and El Primero del Año Derby finals. But first, we'll look forward at Saturday's exciting eight race card, as Double Barres Ranches, all kinds of kind, will make her first start since winning the $106,000 Los Alamitos Main Stakes in the $25,000 James Smith Memorial Handicap at 350 yards. This is the eighth race on Saturday's card. All Kinds of Kind will enter this race having won her last three outings, including her outstanding performance in the main stakes. The Tack It Like a Man Philly recovered from a troubles break and then pulled away to score a comfortable victory in the 350-yard dash. All Kinds of Kind will look to continue her winning ways with jockey Oscar Peinado, as usual, aboard this Philly for trainer Paul Jones. The Jane Smith will also feature Denny and Sandy Wade's Bannister, the winner of the Wild West Futurity in October, and favorite Aquaholic, the winner of the California Breeders' Freshman Stakes in July. The Jane Smith Memorial Handicap is named in honor of the longtime vice president and general manager of the Horseman's Quarter Horse Racing Association that conducted a winter meeting at Los Alamitos in the 1980s and early 90s. Smith was a crucial figure in bringing thoroughbred racing to Los Alamitos. Saudi's car will also feature an $11,025 allowance race headed by Seal Beach Handicap winner I Like the Way She Walks and recent allowance winner Sweet Paree. The car will also feature a pair of races for two-year-olds at 300 yards. Seven two-year-old fillies will debut in the evening's fifth race. E.G. High Desert Farms' Maya Cartel is among the fillies that will head this race. Working here from the outside post, the daughter of Fast Price Cartel posted the fourth fastest of 47 drills at 220 yards when covering the distance in 1240 on March 21st. Maya Cartel's work made in this race is just a deluxe, which is set to make her debut in the fourth race on Friday. Saturday's car will also feature a race for Colts and Geldings, which is part of the sixth event of the evening. This race will be headed by Francisco Diaz Casino Baccarat, which is seen here working from the inside post while posting the fastest of 47 drills on March 11. Also competing is Rod McPherson Jr.'s Living Trust, No Kidding, who worked the distance in 1230 from the outside post on March 18. This was the third fastest of 40 drills this morning. Now for a quick look back at the exciting runnings of the La Primera del Año Derby and El Primero del Año Derby held last weekend at Los Alamitos. Owned by Jeff Alstad and Kim and Jeff Pitcher, Star Something Bad won the La Primera del Año Derby by a nose on Saturday, April 1st. For Jeff Alstad, this was an extremely special victory as it was his first ever stakes win in more than 20 years as a quarter horse owner. For breeders Kim and Jeff Pitcher, Star Something Bad represented their first stakes winner since Tiene Mucho Blanco in 2002 and 2003. The El Primero del Año Derby final was held on Sunday night, and it went to Eva Carrasco's Stelfast, as he finished powerfully to win the El Primero by three-quarter lengths. Sired by Stel Corona and out of the stakes winning dam, the Goodbye Kisser, Stelfast victory gave trainer Valentin Zamudio the first greatest stakes win of his 10-year training career. With a purse of over $224,000, this was also the richest running of the El Primero since 2011, and the second richest in over 30 years. Well, thanks, Orlando. And of course, with a couple of two-year-old races here on Saturday night, Les is uh, chomping at the bit for those races as well. But we